Hello folks. So yesterday we went to Mount Rushmore, and that was great. What a great, iconic experience that was to see the famous four faces here in the Black Hills of South Dakota. But I think it's only fitting that our next day spent here in South Dakota pays homage to, I guess, its counterpart, a Mount Rushmore for the indigenous people here. And that's where I want you to take a look at this. This is a model of Crazy Horse, an Oglala Lakota warrior who fought against the U.S.'s encroachment upon this land, their native Lakota land. Crazy Horse was definitely a hero of the Lakota people. He made sure to do his part as a fierce warrior in an effort to make sure that the U.S. would be halted in their expansionist quest to take over the lands of the Lakota people and would therefore implement a lot of cultural repression. Bad things, but Crazy Horse, if you can see him all the way in the distance, tried tooth and nail to make sure that didn't happen. I see. So does it mean a lot that, you know, you're carrying the traditions forward? Yeah, yeah, I think that because it's so rare, it just kind of gives me more of um, encouragement to keep sharing that. Absolutely. It must take a lot of talent. Yeah. A lot of time, practice. Still practicing, even still today, so. Well, best of luck in February. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate. If you touch upon the history books, you may have heard of the Battle of Little Bighorn. And yes, this guy, Crazy Horse, he was especially important in that battle. Unfortunately though, he was captured and he died at the hands of US soldiers in a prison in Nebraska. But that doesn't mean that over 150 years later, we can still honor him as a great Native American figure. In the early 1940s, a man by the name of Korchak Zilkowski was hired, not hired, but very strongly urged by the elders of the Lakota people to construct an ode to Crazy Horse. And that's why today in time we are here at the Crazy Horse Memorial. Now, unlike Mount Rushmore, this is an entirely privately funded project. No government funding here at Crazy Horse Memorial, no. Korchak Zokowski, he had to buy the land and collect the funds on his own. And he was very happy to receive any donation possible through the time he was building this. Luckily, there were a lot of donations from various groups at all. An additional difficulty that was posed towards this project was that Crazy Horse never was photographed. So Korchak Zukowski, he had to rely on his contemporary associates in the area, maybe the Lakota people who knew Crazy Horse at the time would tell him various facial features. Having to rely on mere descriptions, the sculptor had an immense project to work on, and a very difficult one at that. It started in 1948, the project itself, the first carvings, the first destruction of this stone. And this is not complete. This is still an ongoing project more than 75 years later. You can see his face is clearly marked out. You can understand that that is a man's face. However, what's left 
Well, that's still being dug out and carved. It takes such a scientific process to engineer the exact dimensions, specifications of, a, of such a large memorial that it will take decades to come, at best, for this entire memorial to be complete. If you look at the rock closely, you can see all the cranes and construction equipment over there. They are currently working on his fist, his arm, his knuckles, fingers, everything that protrudes out front there. That might take a few years just alone. Now this whole building is very fascinating. You can see a bit of the culture behind the Crazy Horse Memorial from the tribal flags, the original areas, the native lands upon which these native people lived. But then you also see a more contemporary history, the progress of this memorial, as depicted on all these photos. You can see the milestones that were made Slowly but surely, this memorial is getting built. May take a few years, may take a few decades, may take even up to a century. Who knows when it will be finished, but as technology advances, as new ways of sculpting this giant monument get better and better, our chances of seeing Crazy Horse Memorial complete in our lifetime grows and grows and grows. Korchak Zolkowski went from being a simple assistant to Gutzen Borglum, the guy who created Mount Rushmore. He went from that to creating his own architectural legacy here at Crazy Horse Memorial. He suddenly died in 1982, leaving his family to continue the work. And there was a lot of work to be done, clearly, even today, 40 years after his death. There's still a lot of work to do, if completed. Crazy Horse Memorial would be the second largest statue in the world. As it stands right now, if it were completed, it would be the largest rock carving in the world. So there you go, some little stats here and there. Crazy Horse Memorial should really be on the world stage. It shouldn't just be an afterthought compared to nearby Mount Rushmore. This is going to be larger than Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore is only going to be those faces. The work is complete, but the work is still ongoing here. This memorial is not supposed to serve as an accurate depiction of Crazy Horse. There will be no accurate depiction of Crazy Horse ever. Crazy Horse died a long time ago, over a century ago, and in his lifetime, he was never photographed, like I said. But this memorial is supposed to reflect not the actual likeness of him, but his spirit. Champion of a cause for the Lakota people, and a fierce warrior at that. I didn't expect it, but there are so many amenities here, such as a restaurant, snack shop, gift shop, museum, theater. There's all sorts of things. And for most of these things, you could just understand, it's just tacky tourism. But sometimes, like here at Crazy Horse Memorial, it's the tacky tourism that really pumps the money into this place. It's what funds the construction of these massive projects. But I guess that's what travel does. It forces you to come to a balance of your opinions and views as you learn that things aren't the way that you want them to be, but they're also the way they're meant to be. Oh, nice. Clear view. Yeah, but here we are paying our respects here at Crazy Horse Memorial to the famed and honorable Crazy Horse. More travels to come. I will see you at the next location.